cliffhanger from last week was unbearable i think from from what it looks like from this first frame it looks like we're starting off right at the convenience store so i think we're picking up right where we left off basically last episode it was good to see goto kind of show her softer side and actually kind of try to understand sayu and that conversation went pretty well i'm still like reserving my judgment on goto but it seems like she's not that bad of a person it doesn't seem like she's like the home wrecker type or anything either so man let's see where this leads i'm gonna get i'm gonna jump right into it she's arrived at work man she's gonna see oh she's gonna remember that shit Oh my god, it's him, bro. Damn, dude, that's traumatic as shit. Oh, here we go. Dude, I hope he's not like a freaking freak or something. Oh, dude, what is he saying, dude? Yo, get this guy out of here, bro. He's a piece of shit. Oh no, he's weird. And he was waiting for her after. That's so weird, dude. That's none of his business, bro. Back the fuck up. So weird, dude. Whoa, bro, you don't get to do that, bro. That's so weird. What is this guy's problem? What do you mean you're curious? None of your fucking business. Oh, this guy's a freak. No, dude, don't, don't let him do this. Yeah, don't, don't, don't freaking let him do this to you. What? He has no power over you. Oh, no. Oh, I knew he was going to try to hold their past over her head. That's so shitty, dude. What is wrong with you? <sighs> I hopefully he doesn't have like any pictures or video, bro. Blackmail, bro? Really? God damn, dude. Oh, no. There is no, there is no, I just want to talk. You know what he's thinking. This is, this is bad. This is very bad. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Right there. That's all you need to know. You could have just showed me that scene. That little snippet. Maybe because he's just a nice person, you piece of shit. Oh my god. This guy can't even fathom that someone would let her live there. Oh my god. Yo, dude, get this guy out of here. Every Jeez, what is wrong with this guy? Get this guy out of here. Oh my goodness. No shot. No shot. This happens right now. Oh, dude, my heart. Oh, this is bad. Dude, where is Yoshida, bro? Please. Or even Goto, anyone. Get him the fuck out of here. She literally said go ahead. Get him the fuck out of here, piece of shit. Beat his ass. Dude, beat his fucking ass, dude. Oh my god. Oh, this guy's a piece of shit, bro. It's manipulators like these that get off, that uh, make my blood boil. It's bad. Dude, say something, bro. He's so quiet all the time. He needs to speak. Yeah, technically, but still, it doesn't matter. Like, you're a piece of shit and he's not. That's literally it. 
Oh, fuck you. Get the hell out of here. Nah, this guy's a piece of shit still. Dude, the fact that she said go ahead just like broke broke me a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, for good reason you got scared. Of course he was like... It's okay, yes, thank you. That's what she needs. She just needs a hug right now. No, that's not... She doesn't... I mean, she's so like traumatized she doesn't understand. Like even when she was doing it back then, it wasn't really right. Who cares, bro? Who fucking cares? Your safety, her safety is like a hundred times more important than like people finding out. I mean, I understand like she would not want that, but her safety is more important. Yes, thank you. Think about yourself more. Exactly. At the end of the day, like you have to be your biggest supporter. Like Yoshida's cool and fine, but he... He can't just be protecting her, like, she has to learn how to, like, be more confident and support herself, right? Emotionally, and, like, you know? I want you to be able to care about you. Yes, that's, that's the quote. There it is, boys. So she's supposed to work with him? Oh, no, dude. Yeah, she doesn't like that. Sayu just kind of shuts herself off and doesn't really say her emotions. There you go, confront that shit. There you go. No. Oh, wow. Beat his ass. I'm surprised he was honest about that. Yo, where's the manager? Where's the... Where I need... I need... Where's the Karen that says, I, I, I need to speak with the manager? Get him out of here, bro. Oh. She's laughing? Oh, this is a very interesting way to take this relationship. Interesting. Well, yeah, of course he's acting like her dad. That's literally, he's literally just a guardian figure. So. She should come over and just, yes, she should literally just come over and chill with her and protect her. There we go. What's your family situation? Hmm, I want to know more about Asami, bro. I'm glad she made a friend, guys. I'm glad she made a friend. Okay, so she does have a house that she lives in. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, that, there you go. It's wraps. Freaking five percenters, bro. Does she hide the fact that she's rich? Because she just wants to be normal? That's why she works in a convenience store, too? Even though she probably doesn't need to? It's good initiative. I tried dressing up like a gyaru? Oh, so that's why. So, so gyaru, if you guys don't know, is basically just, um... From what I know, it's just like a Japanese person. I don't know if it applies to men and women, but basically a Japanese person, they like tan their skin and they go blonde. So they just look like kind of the opposite of like what conventional Japanese beauty standards want, which is like really white skin and like black hair and stuff like that. So uh, it's, kind of it's kind of a rebellious thing. So No, I think it's good that she's talking about herself. It's like, we I really wanted to know more about Asami and like we're getting that. I'm so glad. In the future, so. Yeah, you tell her, man. Give her a little, give her that confidence. Yes. Oh, I love it. This is great. Sami's freaking dope. Dude, look at that skyline. Imagine just chilling by a tree up in the hills looking at that city. It's great. Wow. Aww. Aww. Look at that, guys. Saw you made a new friend. Like an actual one now. That's great. Yes. Give me that monologue. Not even a monologue, but. Let's go, bro. The future. 
future. So a SpongeBob reference. Yo, look at the conviction in her eyes right now. This is great. I love it. This is great, yo. This anime is so freaking wholesome, and it's not falling into the traps that I thought it would. So that's great. Wow. Okay, so that episode of Higa Hero. It's crazy how good this anime is. And the fact that they're able to give you an episode without Yoshida in it, even though he's kind of a main character, this is ultimately Sayu's story. So the fact that we're getting so much about Asami just shows that it's building around Sayu and it's not just about Yoshida. This episode, we get the interactions between Sayu and Yaguchi, the, the one of the guys that she stayed with when she was running around. And he's definitely an asshole, and he definitely pulled an asshole move by, you know, continuing to push forward even when she said no. But it's interesting how the anime is making him seem afterwards, where he does seem like he's sorry, and he does seem like it was like a one-time thing and that he never really uh, would do it again. Because at the end of the day, like, when she was staying over his house, it was consensual, but it wasn't healthy. Like, at the end of the day... It's up to Sayu however she wants to treat Yaguchi and you know if she just wants to treat him as like a normal person then that's oh, that's her prerogative. This episode Asami kind of tells Sayu that her parents are rich but she just pretty much wanted to be a normal normal person. You know you can tell just like kind of her appearance and the fact that she just wants to be normal and she's working in a convenience store so that just kind of shows that she's, you know, taking some steps and taking some initiative to be just a regular person. But I'm happy she also found a friend in Sayu and that they're there for each other. That view of the city from that hill was something different, man. That was that was really good. It looked really good. I'm super invested in Sayu now and the fact that she's actually taking steps to kind of figure out her future. And like you could just see in her eyes like the conviction and the desire to like move forward and grow. I'm glad the relationship between her and Yoshida is staying the same. I'm glad she's working towards figuring out what she wants to do and you know maybe possibly resolving her issues at back at home. Yeah another great episode of Higa Hero. If you guys enjoyed this video be sure to leave a like let me know what you guys thought and hit that sub and I'll catch you guys next time.